Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to The Spiritual Leader. I am your host, Darren Baldwin, and I'm joined again with my wife, Laura, and we're super excited to be with you. Uh, Laura, we've been having a great time doing these podcasts. Yeah, um, It's it. one of probably my favorite things that we've been doing because it's just you and I sitting here having a conversation about things that we love, things that we're passionate about, yeah. and things that we're, we're living in. Yes, we're yes. living these things out yeah. that we're talking about. And, you know, it's one of those things in ministry, Laura, that's so easy to do is talk about things that you don't know, you don't know or don't understand. Yeah. I heard one of my uh, mentors say years ago, he said, pastors or ministers, uh, don't just talk about your latest revelations. You know, mm. talk about things that you actually have in your heart. We were sharing yeah. with one of our uh, staff the other day, or they were sharing with me saying, man, I only feel confident and comfortable to share about things that I'm walking in. Yeah, that's And good. that is so powerful if you just think about it. There's so much knowledge, Laura, in this crazy social media culture that we are literally driven by these days. There's so many people talking about oh, yeah. so many things. <laughs> and really, it's just information. Yeah. And we're, we want to do more than just give good. information. This is revelation. This is revelation. So good. And it's experience too. Yeah. You know, we're, we, I love talking about things that, and that's why we have stories and things that are, you know, pertinent to our lives, things that we've actually been through. Uh, you know, the scripture, I love this scripture uh, that uh, Paul was sharing. Um, I don't remember the, the scripture reference, but I think it was to Timothy. He said that you guys have, or maybe it was the, the church at Corinth. I don't remember, but he said, you have many teachers, oh, yeah. but you don't have many fathers. fathers. And he's like, there's probably thousands of teachers that are relaying information, uh, giving you, you know, whatever, you know, they're teaching. But a father it literally takes that information, could take that same information, Laura, and they want to make sure that you get it in you. It's good. A father generally is coming from a place of perspective and experience. Yeah. You're saying, listen, I don't just know something. Mm -hmm. I've actually lived this. I've been there. Yeah. And that's what, a, yeah. isn't that what a father does? Yeah. We're parents, obviously. And when you're telling your children something, it's the age old, I've already been there and done that. You better listen to me. <laughs> what is that? That's a parent. Yeah. And there is an element of like, this where we're sharing on things that we're living. We, yeah. We've walked through some of these things and we want to hopefully impart. So one of those things, Laura, that we're now stepping into a new subject after many uh, subjects on, you know, the spirit of man, et cetera, which we encourage you to go back on and, and listen to. We're getting into a new area today, which I'm super excited about, and that is the subject of faith. Yes. And uh, Laura, I'm excited about faith. Me too. Um, I'm, I'm fired up about believing God. And Laura, we use faith in so many areas yeah. of our life. On uh, everyday basis. We use faith for you and I. I mean, <laughs> to put up with one another. <laughs> you know, that, no, that too, that too, we put up with each other by faith, by faith, Darren, the book of Darren chapter one, I put up with my wife by faith. No, I'm kidding. We do. We, well, there is an element, let's say put up, maybe a better way to say that is we have patience yeah. and we're enduring. Yes. We endure a lot, yeah. not just from each other, just in general, but Love. It, it does take faith to build a strong marriage. And, um, we've always said, you know, it takes three to have a great marriage you and me and Jesus yeah. and because he's the one that originated this but we walk by faith when it comes to our health we walk by faith when it comes to parenting mm -hmm. we walk by faith uh when it comes to the plan of God yeah. um all the subjects that we talked about anything uh, we're believing for anything you're <laughs> anything you're doing yeah. generally anything we're doing in, in particular yeah. you know we're we're exercising our faith and we're going to get into some of these things, and I'm super excited, but I wanted to look at, Laura, just as a foundation, this 2 Corinthians 5, 7, just to give you a scripture that's uh, just simple but powerful, yeah. if you want to go ahead and just read that. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. But I love this one translation. It says, for we guide our lives by faith, mm. not by sight or appearance. So, so we good. Guide our lives by I faith. I love that. And that really, I, th I feel like that encapsulates my life. And I know it does yours that we let what we believe. Yeah. There, there's a direct thing here. And this is where we're, you know, kind of just trying to tap into this subject here. There's a direct connection between faith. You can look at it here. It says faith. It uses, we don't walk by what we see. Yeah. So when you're thinking about the beginnings of faith, like how do I walk by faith? What is faith? Well, faith is pretty much, it, it's not based on what you and I can see. 
Yes. Uh, you know, I can see this table here. If you're just listening, you're not seeing the table, so you're going to have to walk by faith that I'm sitting at a table. I can see this phone. I can see this microphone, this Bible, this scripture book. I can see Laura. I can see these lights around me. All that I can see. Uh, yeah. But the realm of faith, yes. it, it operates by a realm yeah. and things that we cannot see. Um, I know there's been people that have seen, had visitations, you know, of angels and have seen miraculous things. But for the most part, Laura, you and I are going to have to live by what we can't see. Yeah. And, you know, so many times I've heard this and it really gets on, it, it, it gets on my bad side when I hear people talk about faith as if it's some secondary thing of things that we don't know, we don't understand. It's just, we, we have faith, mm -hmm. but it's like a blind faith. But faith yeah. is not, it's not any less real than the things we see. Yes. It's yes. just in a realm that we can't That's see so with our good. physical eyes. It's a yeah. firm, to me, it's like, it's a firm conviction. Yeah. I may not be able to see it, like you said, with my physical eyes, but in the realm of the spirit, oh, I see it clearly. And I have mm. a firm conviction that what I'm seeing through the eyes of faith that I will see in this natural realm. Yeah, and that's so powerful. I was just thinking of, you know, many of us, if you've had a headache before, you know, oftentimes we'll reach for whatever your preferred uh, headache medicine is, maybe yeah. Tylenol or Advil or whatever. And when we grab that bottle of Tylenol or whatever it is, mm -hmm. what do we do? We take two of those Tylenol. Yeah. We're, we're fully expecting yeah. that that Tylenol is going to get to work on that headache, yes. right? Yes. And that's something on, obviously that's something that we can touch, we can feel, we have experience with taking Tylenol. It's going to take that pain away. Um, but when it comes to faith in, that's faith. Yeah, I mean, it you're, is. You're believing. Yeah. You're believing. Like, you believe, like, when you are driving yeah. your car, yeah. you're going to put it in drive. You believe that thing's going to go. Yeah. You're you going to have faith in a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, and there's a difference. There's natural faith, There's mm -hmm. but the, then there's faith in the Spirit. But this faith, Laura, and this is what we want to convey. We want to get across that this this, we want to convey an attitude. Over the next mm -hmm. several podcasts, we're going to be talking That's about good. faith. We want to talk about an attitude, yeah. Laura, of faith. Yes. An attitude of believing God. We don't want yeah. we don't want to just give knowledge over the next several podcasts. Yeah. We want to we want we hope to accomplish to get an attitude or a spirit yeah. of what it is to actually live by the realm of God, the realm that we cannot see, to live by God's promises. Uh, it, you know, Laura, we're going to get into in further episodes, but I was stirred about Hebrews chapter eleven, and I have my Bible here. It says in verse six, "But without faith, it's impossible to please yeah. God." Right? There's you can't please God any other way than by believing Him. And we're going to get into this in further episodes. But Laura, the book of Hebrews chapter 11, it gives story after illustration after illustration. It goes through, talks about uh, Enoch, talks about Abel, talks about uh, Abraham, one of my favorites, and yeah. the father of faith. It talks about Noah, talks about Moses, it talks about Sarah, it talks about, um, uh, what was the other one, Gideon, all these different ones that they walked by a realm that they could not, not see. see. Yeah. They had a word from God. They had a Good. direction from God. They had a vision from God. Yeah. They had some urgency. I was thinking about, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nehemiah. He had, he, yeah. he heard uh, that the walls of his beloved home city were torn down and he just had this burden and this mm -hmm. call through prayer to go and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, right? Yeah. And the guy just literally he, he should be in this book. Maybe he is in chapter 11. <laughs> he went by faith and had many adversaries, so but good. he just had a directive. He had a, yeah. a word in prayer, a peace, and knowing that mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do this. Yeah. And we're going to get into that in some of the next episodes, just some of these great men and women of faith. So listen, we hope you'll you know stay connected with us when it comes to uh, just getting into some of these things about faith. We're super yeah. excited. And I know, I, I want to I leave you with this at the end of this podcast. Some of you right now, you have some massive things that you need to break through. You have some, maybe some physical challenges, maybe some, uh, you know, there's been more of an uprise, Laura, of mental sickness yeah. that I've personally become aware of yeah. over the last couple of decades, struggled with some of that myself uh, in some of the mental arenas, emotional sickness. Yeah. We, we see more things like addiction to anything under the sun, there, there's more addiction problems yeah. now than that's ever been. Uh, you think about all the comforts that we have now in our society, culture, even the poorest of the poor among us, at least in the U.S., 
have they live like kings compared to people 200 years ago. Yeah. But with all those comforts and technologies, people are more depressed. Yeah. They're more anxious. Anxiety, Laura, is on the rise. Yeah. Um, we have challenges with uh, m- marriages from infidelity to people just don't know how to build and work a marriage to make it last. Yeah. We have people that are struggling with their calling. They don't know why they're here. I was talking mm-hmm. to a guy on the phone today, Laurie. He said his daughter was, was an atheist. And, you know, people are just, they're more lost now than they've ever been. Yeah. And I believe what the scripture says, Laura, when it says this is the victory that overcomes the world. What is it? It's our our faith. faith. Yeah. The scripture says faith can literally move physical mountains. So if you can believe, and that is what faith is. If you can believe all things are possible. possible. And that's what we're going to be getting into. We got, you know, some scriptures and some different things. So we're just going to leave it at that today. We're going to jump into a, uh, another podcast next week. But join us as we journey along in discovering the faith of the leader. Hey, listen, we love you, and we'll, we'll talk to you real soon. Love you. Bye.